Contractors hired by the town of East Hampton are working overtime to cut down more than 7,000 trees just discovered to be infested by the southern pine beetle. We flagged every single infested tree uh, that we had found, and we had found that it had more than, more than doubled in 12 days. The alarming increase led to an emergency being declared. Just from its name, it's obvious the destructive southern pine beetle is not native to New York, but two years ago it hit Fire Island and then later Bethpage State Park. State environmental officials ordered that all the infested trees be destroyed to stop the beetle's spread. Now this tree has been infested, and you can tell that by the sap that the tree has pushed out in an effort to try to kill the beetle. But thousands of felled trees now have outraged the owners of these pricey Hamptons homes. I'm losing property value on top of this. You know, it's uh, you know who's going to want to buy a piece of property with, with you know thousands of dead trees on it. Smith says he lost nearly 200 trees, and it will cost him thousands to pay contractors to haul them away. That's a bill that some elderly retirees say they can't handle. That I can't afford. I can't. I, I live on Social Security. The town supervisor says $150,000 in tax money is already being spent to cut down the trees, but that's as far as he can go helping out homeowners. I think there's a limit to uh, the use of public funds on private property. The supervisor adds the town will waive its disposal fee, but meanwhile, the mass tree cutting will go on until the pine beetle threat passes. In East Hampton, and Richard Rose, TV 1055. The town is sending out letters to all of the affected homeowners telling them their trees will be cut down.